Hellworld legendary schematics or blueprints, where can we find them and what are the chances we can get them? Well, you can get them from Alpha Pals. You can get them from dungeons, but you have more of a chance to get specific items from specific Alpha Pal boss fights. You can see on screen a few different locations, and so far the community is trying to figure out the locations of each Alpha Pal drop. But right now, as it stands, you have a small chance if you fight one of these Alpha Pals to get the following item, which is shown on screen right now. And as the community explores more, I'm sure we'll figure out the answer to all the rest of the other items. Legendary blueprints are so much more powerful than the normal versions and are really, really worth getting if we can. But the trouble is, how rare are they and how likely is it you'll get them after defeating a boss fight? Well, I tried to figure it out today as part of my second episode in my Nuzlocke Challenge series. We'll be continuing from where we left off yesterday. So let's find out how rare legendary schematics really are and if they're worth trying to go for. Especially in the case of this Nuzlocke Challenge where I only have 100 days to complete it. Here's a quick reminder of the Nuzlocke Challenge rules. I can only capture one pal per area. I must name my pals to build a stronger emotional bond with them. If a pal dies, they are dead forever. And I must, and I mean must, butcher them. Goodbye friend, you are awful. I cannot have two of the same pal. I cannot quit to the title screen to save myself from death. And if I die, it's game over. So, in 100 in-game days, I must carefully capture the most useful pals, build a functioning work camp, and fight all five bosses without dying once. So let's get into it. Right, after all that work, we can make the hot spring. Nice, so that's done. I want to get Daydream's necklace as well, because we are about to go and fight. And I mean fight. We are going to hunt down legendary schematics legendary blueprints so that we can have a advantage leading into the mid game in terms of having more powerful gear if you didn't know you can get schematics from playing the game looting chests going in dungeons and there's different rarities and these schematics are basically crafting blueprints for the different items in the game and the legendary versions have insane stats which will give you a massive boost and advantage depending on your stage in the game and each of these bosses have different drop chances for legendary schematics now we want to get some cloth armor finally so we can stop freezing our butt cheeks off and that means we need to go and fight chill it chill it drops the legendary cloth armor so we're going to go and fight chill it as much as we possibly can until we get our cloth armor schematic and then we can craft it and you'll see its value and then we're going to move on to the next pal and get the next legendary item, which will be the bow. This is going to be massively important and also a great way to level up. First things first, we're going to put a bit of points into HP because this is going to get crazy. We're going to need as many arrows as humanly possible. Wait, passing Relaxosaurus? Seriously? Ow! That is extremely lucky. Well, we that is... Oh my god. Yo, we need to hurry up. The Relaxosauruses are coming. What? That's ridiculous, dude. We can catch this and we'll get a Relaxosaurus early. I don't know if this will be enough. This would be amazing if we could... Look at them. When have you seen Relaxosaurus early on in the game? They're only level 14. Oh my god. No. Uh, that is unfortunate. Oh well. That is crazy. I didn't know that was a thing. It ran away. Right, it's daytime. We need to prepare our battle crew. This is going to be crazy. So we want Daydream. We want Woody, of course. The shiny power is going to give us a lot of early game potential. Also, I'm going to take Rush Ore real quick. We're going to go farm some Palladium. One of the great things about this base is its location is right here. So we can use Rush Ore to collect some fragments here. Nice and simple. This is going to be our preparation for the bosses because we are going to need that extra preparation early game. Essentially, my plan is to dodge the boss attacks as much as humanly possible and uh, get as many power spheres as possible so maybe we can capture it. You know, we're going to have a low capture rate to begin with, so it's going to be hard. But uh, by doing this, we can ensure we get more power spheres and increase our chances. If it, you know, we have to kill it, that's fine. But uh, if we can capture it, We'll get two ch times the chance of looting it, essentially. Capture it once, and then butcher it. 
and your drop chances will double for that legendary schematic which is what we really really want okay so we've got a decent amount of ore there palladium palladium rather let's first make daydreams necklace that's going to help me fight once uh we're out there you know having two pals out at once going to be better than one there's the necklace that will be with me permanently now we can craft my power spheres we need more wood thank you early game this fight is actually pretty hard but it's worth taking a bit more risk early game to try and get these legendary schematics and then one final check at vixie's spot here let's make sure we get the spheres good job good job right hang on a minute steve come here mate come here look you need to take a break you're getting stressed we've got a hot spring over here dude come on <laughs> that's cute all right, here we go. Towards the Chillet. The first alpha boss fight. And I believe this one is going to give us our legendary cloth schematic, which is going to be really useful. Okay, let's get going. I don't know why Steve is slacking off. He doesn't have to work that hard. This is kind of a difficult situation. Now that we have a limited number of pals to capture, if one of our pals has, you know mental health problems or they're struggling with, with their mood uh and they quit the job they just slack off that's gonna mess with our production and we're gonna really struggle to get the resources we need late game so we are probably going to need to keep our pals happy like i don't want to prioritize that but i think i kind of have to okay here's the boss here we go, right, let's get out, Woody. I want you to focus on the same enemy. We are going to dodge these attacks. This is a level 11, now just keep in mind, we are level 13 and it's an alpha boss, so this is going to be pretty hard. Look at this damage we're going to do. Not much, right? 26, a critical headshot, that's pretty good. I've got to hit those headshots. Okay, that's quite a lot of damage. There it is. Good job, good job, Woody. Yes, look at him. Come on, Daydream, let's go. Oh my god, it's almost dead. Okay, this is not going to be too hard. As long as we make sure we take Woody back. Oh my god, <laughs> Woody. I didn't think it would be that easy. Right, we didn't get it that time. We're going to have to re-roll this. This boss is in an area where we can actually um, fast travel fairly quickly and capture a pal, right? We haven't captured a pal here yet. Right, we're going to do some parkour to get down here. Watch this, boys. This is how you get down a hill in this game. And we are down to the ground. The so bosses spawn once per day, right? So what we now need to do is spend our daytime traveling towards the desert. Because, like I said already, I want to try and get a dig toys to set up that automated ore farm. That's going to be extremely important to progress us into the mid game we're gonna need tons of ore tons of sulfur tons of coal and that means we're gonna have to travel there quite a long way but it is going to be worth it along the way we'll get the fast travel points as well maybe catch a few pals but basically we're just kind of biding our time this legendary drop may be quite rare but it's going to be worth it to uh, essentially have some strong early game armor because I'm not going to really bother with getting armor until we're like level 40. Oh wow. Nice. This is useful. Obviously the rusher is not the fastest mount in the game. I think I want to die a hell. Which is uh, at early game quite a fast mount. It even says in its passive description faster than others. Oh there's sulfur ore here. That is useful. We want to remember that. In fact we even have a mine here. Uh, let's put a marker. Looks like we've got a... a, a dungeon that could be a good way to get high level schematics too you're not you can get a lot of lower level schematics in the dungeons but you know there is a chance to get legendary ones not as high as fighting a boss but i think we can take a look at this dungeon at the end of the day we just want to make sure we use each day as efficiently as possible we want to reach end game by 100 days oh, that's a level 29 boss now we don't have to fight the boss we're simply coming here to look at the other pals, the chests, maybe. And if things get a little too hairy, we can leave. Uh, 
All right, no, 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 no. This is too dangerous for us. Level 24. This is too much. We will die. I do not want to die. There's too many powers in there. We'll come back here when we have our legendary bow and legendary cloth armor. i got to remember, this is quite a high level. You know? Oh, dear. Yeah. Um, we need to be a very aware of, like, any aggressive pals because they will mess us up. We're going into an extremely high level area now. If things get crazy here, because remember, if our pals die, they're dead forever. I will need to simply just drop it, get out of my mount, and run. Oh, there's a chest, though. That is, that is worth taking. And some gold and some arrows. Not a big deal. No schematics. That's what we're going for. Legendary schematics today. And probably for the next 10 in-game days as we level up. The great thing about the bow is it's a fast fire rate, and if you can hit your crit shots, it does a lot more damage, which is really, really handy. So that legendary bow is not just going to be, like, good, it's going to be amazing. In my opinion, it's going to be better than, like, the pistol, the normal shotgun, a lot of weapons. It's going to be better than a lot of weapons. Oh, look, we got a red tier chest. We need a gold key for that, though. Silver key, okay. Um... I'll mark that. That could be a legendary schematic, although it's unlikely. So I'm swimming along the coast here so that we can get across. Like, I didn't really think about this, but being low level, low stamina means we could actually die. This open water here could get us killed. So we're going to wait till like this point and cross there where it's a little bit safer. Oh, here's the beach. Got a bit of podium. whilst we're here. May as well. Another red tier chest. There are a lot of red tier chests. We got lucky. The chest spawns, by the way, are random each time. So there's a low chance that it's red tier, which is the highest tier. High chance it's gold tier, which is the most common. And a medium chance it's the purple. So the fact that we just saw two red tier chests is pretty cool. But a bit of a disappointment that I don't have any silver keys and probably won't for some while. Now, how to cross an open uh, bit of water as a low level player. First, you cross on your mount until the mount stamina is about to go down, right? Because we don't want the mount to die. And then once it's almost reached zero, we can jump off the mount and then we can swim the rest of our way. And that way, they won't die, we won't die. Because, you know, we, we could do with like a, a flying mount, but uh, well, we can't really waste any time right now. Right, let's get off the mount now. Put uh, awesome away. And then we can swim our way there. We're about halfway through the day here. Syndicate Thugs, level 13. There's a Doomud. Okay. Great. The Gigas there. We'll use that on the Chillet. The great thing about this high level area, if you can avoid the enemies, you can just kind of... Oh. Grab some high level spheres very quickly. It's useful for catching bosses. So what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Don't attack. No, no, no. Oh my god. Run. It is hot here, so... Our time is limited, basically. <laughs> our time is limited. And the worst thing is... There is no fast travel points here. Which is crazy. You just put don't attack, dude. Dumar is gonna uh, kill us. If we get too hot, oh, we should have brought a pink gullet. Any ice pals will cool you down enough. All right, here's our dig toys. Here's our dig toys. So we're going to get Woody out. Woody is only level 12. So this is going to be a harder fight than uh, even the boss we just fought. But we got to get this dig toys. It is so important. It is so important. All right, here we go. So if we hit the head of the dig toys, it'll do a lot of damage. If we hit the shell, it will do hardly any. Nice, come on, that's what we want to see. There we go. Come on now. Alright. So, Woody's not really taking much damage, which is great. Alright, we may need to put Woody away now. Don't attack. Now it's down to me and him. Remember, we got some high level spe spheres here. Keep lowering it. If we want to get lower and lower, right, to a very low health. Oh no, we ran out of 
Bows? I didn't see that coming. All right, Gigasphere. 30% chance. I uh, didn't bring enough arrows. Come on. No. Oh, dear. I'm going to have to go for the melee attacks, dude. All right. Avoid that. That's going to hurt us a lot. Our health is lowering because of the desert. Come on. Our stamina is really bad as well. I'm going to go for one more hit. All right, what have we got? I'm an 8% chance. One hit and we're dead. We, we need to run. Come on. We need this. Oh my god, that's so lucky. Right. Get out of here. Get out of here. We are literally 50 health. We are going to die. We are going to die. And then the, the run is over. We need to get into that water right now. We are too hot. Come on. 42 health. It's going down. I think we'll be okay. That was crazy. I was like about... Yeah, so health is going back up. Oh my. <laughs> we were less than a minute away from dying, essentially. That was great. That was a really low chance. I can't believe that worked. Um, Alright, Dig Toys. Dig Toys has the Vanguard. 10% increase to player attack. That is pretty nice. And now we can get home in time for nighttime to reset the day and go fight the boss again. Alright, I thought of a name for Dig Toys. I mean, to me, he looks like Bowser. He just does. So, he is Bowser now. But I literally climb this mountain just to get back to the base, which I think is, well, quite something, to say the least. Uh, an egg. My god, the eggs. They are so good. I can't believe we missed a chance for the Relaxosaurs. I, I, I didn't know they would ever attack us. I mean, this early on in the game, to see that is extremely rare. We lost our chance. Getting two Relaxosaurs early game would be amazing. Our free pal alliance. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Don't die. Awesome. There's a lot of them here. What I want to do is try and pick up... A little bit of sulfur ore though before we go back home because we're on the way pretty close uh, the fast travel points quite near and i think it's on on the road the sulfur is something that is going to be a pain to get another chest there like a real pain so if we could just pick up some here and there it is going to be extremely useful some more coins we obviously have ore at the base, so we don't need to worry about ingots. And our dig toys will do all the work for that. So, chests. I think there was one chest here before. They take, I believe, around five or six days to reset. I'm not sure on the exact number, but they take longer than boss fights. So, yeah, we marked the sulfur down here. Sulfur is useful for gunpowder, which is basically high-level ammunition right so pistol everything you know even rocket launchers oh dear i didn't mean to do that sorry sorry don't mess with me dude all right the sulfur ore is like right where these free power alliance players are just go for it we're going for it we're going for it 22 sulfur ore okay now we may need to run we can do one more hit they're busy they're busy it's fine Sorry. Go, go, go. Yeah, he's on me. He's on my tail, dude. Ow. Right, we need to just get out. Put away, awesome. Dude, it's so dangerous when, like, you can just die at any second and then your run's over. And you're in, like, a really high level area. It's scary, dude. I just lost half my health in one second. Like, I'd rather go back and fight that boss again. Just something we will be doing. Alright, put Awesome in the base. Put Bowser in the base. We need to look at the Dig Toys headband. We're going to be level 19, so that's like six more levels. Okay, let's see if we got a few berries to go uh, to eat up. Okay, he's already mining away. Oh, yeah. 
I only need the headband. Oh, look at all these arrows. Because he's been working hard. You only need the headband if you want to get ore. Right, time to sleep. Reset the day. Let's go fight. Uh. Realize I need more arrows, and my monkey is doing a terrible job at collecting wood, so i got to go and do it manually. Okay, it's time to fight once more. All right, let's try and capture this time. Let's go. Here we go. All right, 50% chance. Nice. Awesome. Right, we captured a chillet, so that's pretty good. I don't know if this is a suitable name, but uh, we'll go with it. I'm going to make a, a glider because I am tired of having to climb down mountains. Like, look at this. It's so difficult. Any second, any slip, and this whole thing could be over. Oh, speed. Right, we can put Ice Cube to work, which is nice. We have enough beds. Just making glider real quick. I see Steve's problem is he has to do two jobs. What on earth is fish number seven doing? Oh, because uh, Steve has to garden as well as mine. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Sorry, Steve. Now I can see why he's complaining. Right, we got our parachute, which is going to help us a lot. Now, I'm going to fight another boss. We're going to go for the Pen King. I feel like we can do it. It's not a massive deal. We've already got, uh, you know, our shiny pal doing a lot of damage. This one resets every hour, which is a little bit different. We can't just sleep and wait for it to reset. It's going to take about two in-game days to fight this one. But, um, you know, we're basically going to just go back and forth fighting boss pals as much as we can in an attempt to get legendary schematics. Now, Pen King, I believe, has a legendary uh, hat schematic. We're going to need to... I think for now I'll put one in attack and late game we're going to wait. All right, there's two pen gullets as well. Please take those out first, just makes it easier. Level 10. Right, there's one. Die, oh, are you okay? All right, I kind of just went AFK uh, and left the game running so my dig toys can get some ore. He's not working as effectively as I was expecting. I think there's a bit of a bug or something and a Dumad would be better. I had to literally destroy the stone farm just so they would actually mine the ore and he's doing it extremely slowly which is not ideal not only that but we don't have any transport powers really doing anything so essentially i have to do all the heavy lifting myself but anyway we're gonna go fight chill it again and probably in the daytime go look for a transportation pal because it is slowing down our production quite a lot and that is a bit of a problem Okay, so I think over the next 10 days, I'm going to have a task in the day and a boss fight with Chillet in the morning. And once we got all 10 captures, it's going to be a lot of XP. That's it. Come on, boys. It's so easy, really, once you have an, uh, a shiny pal, which is really great. And now we've got to be careful. He's going in for the crazy attack. Look at the health go down. All right, don't attack, don't attack. Um, can we do a Megasphere, maybe? 32%. Oh, dude. All right, there we go. That should be it. That's easy. What's that? A third? No, second capture, isn't it? Did we get it? Did we get it? Not yet. All right, we finally have the glider. Here's a little tip if you have low stamina, right? You can just drop and then equip again and drop and equip again. That way you actually have a chance. All right, then. Quickly go back to the base. And then for today's task, we need to go and get a transportation pal. I'm going to keep uh, Ice Cube out so that they can level up. I think leveling up an Alpha Power would be great. And, well, you're in the chopping block. I think it would be fun to butcher all of these once we have nine more captured. Because then it's going to be a bit of a fun chill it box opening to see if we can get this golden legendary cloth armor. So... There aren't any really good handiwork powers to begin with, but I think if we go towards like a coastal area, maybe around here.
we can get a thwack. In fact, we might get lucky of one just being around here. Right, there are thwacks here, but we've already caught a pal in this area, which is a shame. I might just try and capture them just for the chopping block, just for the XP. Kind of tough, bro. I'm gonna leave. Go. Come on. 25% chance. Yeah, that, they're pretty strong here. Alright, well, we should get that one. Nice. Now, if we go inland, there's a fast travel point here, and we can enter this area that we can actually start capturing things. Yo, Toco Toco. Oh, there's sulfur ore here. This is kind of unexpected. Okay, here's a fast travel point. And now, I believe we could potentially see some uh, little duckies in here. There's one right there. Perfect. Okay, so... Oops. I think I'm just going to 1v1 this. I don't really think... I mean, maybe we could get Woody out, I guess. Go on then, Woody. Let's see what we can do. Oh, it's only a level 10. Nah, no, don't attack, don't attack. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Don't attack! Oh, no! Oh, boy. Alright, I was kind of AFK for a bit because I tried to find the FWAC and we just couldn't. Uh, I didn't really do much. I built a couple arrows, a couple spheres, but honestly, yeah, I was just sitting there uh, hoping that the spawns would reset so we can go back here and get one because I couldn't see a single one. I'm way too underleveled for this place. My pals are way too overleveled. Okay see what we can find here it's almost night time so we can reset and go for the boss again quite an unsuccessful day which is a shame kind of like the strategy is is a bit slow you know it's slowing us down a little bit in terms of like well you know not getting many results which is a shame it really is yeah i just i mean maybe if we follow the coast here we could find one i'm trying my best we literally just need one handiwork. What is that? A woolly pop? Do they have handiwork or transport? Have level one transport. That would seem like a waste. But wasting time is also quite a big deal. What about Mozzarina? So yeah, there's a couple legends here. I mean, pals that do have level one transport. But I mean, that just... Just rough. What level is this boss? Level 23? You think we could stand a chance to fight this? Or it's a dungeon boss. Dungeon bosses are usually quite a little bit harder. Come on now. Yeah, the spawns just aren't there. We're going to reset and go fight the boss. Oh, that's an unsuccessful day. It happens. It happens sometimes. We really need to start leveling up. Like, we are way under leveled at this point. We are running out of time. Not good. Okay, uh, let's go fight the boss again. It is some berries. I'm actually like, everyone's starving. I didn't realize, but lower hunger means you're not going to perform as well. The stats won't be as effective. Same with your pals. There we go. Alright, time to get Woody. And we're going to focus on the same enemy. You never know. We could actually get the uh, items, we need the legendary cloth armor just from butchering it, but we'll see for now. Here we go. I just love this combo, it's so good. That's it, Woody, go on. Ooh. Luckily, it doesn't really do much damage. This is a really good early game boss to farm, to be honest. Alright, there goes the health. Let's watch it. A little bit lower should be good. Lots of attacks. Okay, come on a little bit more. Get ready to send Woody back. Uh, now. Oh, no. The command don't attack, but I didn't send it back. We didn't get the item again. It's going to be a tough grind. All right, I'm going to quickly go to that same location and hopefully get a transportation pal. And then we need to go back to the desert and get a Dumad. Because our dig toys is just... Not doing the job we expected. 
everything is just not going to plan uh, which is worrying because the days just keep passing we're, we're in a bit of a stalemate to be honest and it's uh it's rough it's really rough dire house do they have transport oh my god there's so many though yo what the this place has so many different pals to spawn in and they are coming for me dude I surely a die hell. I mean, a die hell has is a pretty good mount. I might just do it. I might just do it. It's a level eleven. Can we take this out ourselves? Oh yeah, we can. We can so do it. A level fifteen one there. Okay. Yo 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 yo. Come on. Level eleven would be easier. Wait, they're running away. Did they leave their like hack radius or something? All right. I'm worried that Woody will just one-shot them. Where are you going? Come back here. There we go. Yeah, I just want one of you. Aha. Just sidestep the attacks. Yeah, Die House moved pretty fast, so I'm pretty excited to get this. All right, if we capture this, then I'll just send out Woody on this one. Come on. 28%. 60. Oh, it feels so good when you get a first-time capture. Okay. Great. Right. Attack. Go, go, go. Let's see how fast Woody takes us out. There it goes. Come. <laughs> Last second capture as well. Hopefully. We need more captures. We need more. Just need more. Yo, Woody actually took quite a bit of damage there. Oh, okay, Daydream. You're protecting me. Fair enough. No worries. Alright, we've got to die a hell. Um... Go back to the base then. I mean, I, I hope Dire Hell has transport. You'd think it would. It doesn't. It has like nothing. Okay. We did need it anyway. So we can now put Awesome back on the job. You know, I needed a transportation pal. Sounds like a weird name, but the fastest ground transport in the world is the Shanghai Maglev. And uh, I'm hoping this is the fastest ground transport in PAL world. Diehell saddle is needed. Ah oh, man, moving around the map fast is going to be really handy. Thanks for the wood. Still desperately need a transport PAL and a Dumad. Oh man. Putting the stone pit back because, um, well, Big Toys isn't even digging the ore anyway. Now we can build a crusher. I don't really need this too much right now, but we're going to level up our base because we're going to need new power soon. I need more transportation and Steve is doing such a slow job on the wood cutting. We're just preparing ourselves, future-proofing ourselves. We need a do mud as well, because Dig Toys is useless. Like, we need to ramp this production up for the late game. And we are way too slow right now. Right, we need a transportation pal as soon as possible. I'm going to a lower level area now, because that was kind of crazy. I don't need any, like, super fancy uh, pals. Oh yeah, there we go. That's some speed. Awesome. Look at that. I'm so glad we got this. May not have been the best idea to get this before our um, transport pal. But you know what? I feel happy. <laughs> Alright, we're capturing a good old pen gullet. You know why? Pen gullets are low level. But they basically have all sorts of skills. Take a look at this. If we can capture it in one, that would be awesome. Don't... D Daydream, No! You're gonna kill it. Okay, nice. Oh, we leveled up from that, that's amazing. Look at this, right? Watering level one, it's all level one, but watering, handiwork, transporting and cooling. That is huge. This guy is literally my savior. So that's the name because I, I need all this stuff so badly. All right, we gotta level up. Um, To be honest, I think we go and wait. I'm not too worried about anything else right now. We'll mark down the map that we capture the pal here. Okay, now things are starting to feel a little bit better. You know, 
We got this mount, we got some handiwork and transport in one. I feel a little bit less stressed about running out of time for uh, producing our base. We can get the ball rolling again. Get Savior into work. We need one more bed. We need wood, dude. This is what I mean. We don't have any wood. Steve, come on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That bed down quick before Savior gets mad. This is amazing. I love it. Okay, awesome. Look, he's just doing all the work for us. Yes. Oh, that feels so good. Right, it's still daytime, and I need to level up. My pals are out-leveling me. I'm going to just go capture a bunch of low-level pals, complete my capture bonuses for those, because uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. We've been kind of wandering around a little bit too much, wasting time. It is not a good shout. And now, we can do this quite effectively. Look how fast this is. This is wonderful. Oops. Well, one shot. <laughs> we need to get the bow out. Okay. Oh. Look at this. It's so fast. Oh, Lambo. Daydream. Daydream. Can you stop? Daydream just keeps killing everything. I literally have to put Daydream back in the base because they're just too overpowered for this area. And they just keep one-shotting everything, which is not ideal. Daydream does have handiwork as well. So let me just quickly upgrade the base. I think we need one more berry plantation, which is super easy. Get that down here. We need one more bed. Okay, there we go. Upgrade the power box. Put Shadow Beak there. Now we can go and fight these low-level areas. This is going to be the fastest, like, L farming you've ever seen. Look at this. Ready? This is one shot on the Catifer. Okay, we missed. Never mind. Not a great start. Go blam. Come here. Okay. The difference between me and my pal's damage is crazy. Let's do one shot on these. Okay, there we go. You escaped? Are you kidding me, dude? Uh, he's still attacking me while she's dead. Get, even getting bullied by dead pals, you know? We, we, I am... I can't believe. So low level. Alright, come on. Don't waste my time. Efficiency, efficiency. Oh my goodness. How are you dodging my attacks, dude? There we go. Alright, we've got to do two shots and then we're fine. Ah, uh, that would be better. Okay, here we go. Lambo. Come on, Lambo. Where you going, buddy? Yeah, double shot bow. We are so weak right now. I didn't even realize. I'm letting Woody do all the work. Literally, that Woody is saving my life in terms of, like, uh, efficiency and stuff. Nuts. There we go. 100% catch rate. Nice. Okay. We, we're going through this fast. How much? Uh, okay, we've completed Cativer. We've completed Chicopee. What about Lambo? Uh, right, we need uh, six more Lambos. Fox Parks as well. We haven't captured many of these. Let's get those as well. Need the flame organs late game anyway. 50%. Okay, there we go. Kablam. Kablam. Ooh. That's kind of a high hit, to be honest. 50%. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we just want to get those capture bonuses and just speed through some levels, you know. Come on now. A weapon is damaged. Ah, that's why I'm doing low damage. Okay, nice. Uh, it's too low. Though. Let's go back. <laughs> Our bow is doing no damage. It's almost nighttime as well, which means we can reset the day fairly soon. Okay, I just spent all that time naming these pals. Uh, we got up to 54 pals now, which is crazy. 54 pals ready to butcher anyway. Alright, time to sleep. Got the arrows. Did our handiwork savior just produced? Still not getting any wood, which is a big shame. So today I'm going to fight the Chillet again. Then I need a wood cutting pal, and then I'm gonna get the Doomard, and then I think my base is ready to go. After some setbacks and blunders, we'll finally be automating everything from war ore to wood to stone to pal spheres. Uh, everything we need basically to get sorted, which is wonderful. It's just taken so long due to struggling to get the powers we need it's just the limitation of this no uh, nuzlocke challenge you know it, it's it's the fun of it right but we're, we're getting there we're getting there prepare that the wood away right let's go fight the chill it let's hopefully capture it this time I forgot to bring daydream but i think it doesn't matter too much we should be fine all right here we go back to the fight you know what to do Getting this nice and easy now, to be honest. Right, chill it. Straight in the face. Blam. 
Don't kill the chillet. Don't kill it. It's the chillet, but don't kill it. <laughs> oh God, Steve's even more powerful. Sorry, Woody. Sorry, sorry. Forgot your name. Ow. Get that one straight to the face. Right, we need to get ready to send Woody back. That's the mistake I made last time. Okay. Ah, okay, it's fine. And again, we didn't get it. We leveled up, though. More weight. Don't worry, I'll get the hang of that. <laughs> Lambo! We need Lambos. We haven't caught a Capriti yet. I might just... Yeah, T-Fronts are easy as well. We just need some levels. So, like I say, I'm just gonna shoot everything and everything. Everything. What are you doing? Come on, I need levels. Uh, okay, one more Lambo going. Kablam! 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 Alright. Now we've got that, we need to quickly go back to the base. And then what we're going to do is quickly, quickly go get a Dumad and also a, um, what do you call it? We need a transport pal. Now here's the thing, right? Last time I went to the desert and I almost died because I was too hot. Uh, so I'm going to bring the Pengullet with me. I know that's kind of a shame because that's our handiwork pal, but I really feel like I don't have a choice. Uh, wait, maybe chill it. No, chill it isn't ice. Okay. At least I don't think so. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, Pengal is ice. Chill it? Chill it is ice. Okay, never mind. I mean, it's literally called Ice Cube. I should know. <laughs> okay, sort it then. Savior can stay at the base. I put you guys in there. It's funny how time consuming it is to name these pals. Like, I didn't think about that. Like, that is actually making this challenge harder. But I have to name each of these pals a number. I'm getting a bit more efficient with it. <laughs> to begin with, it took a while. But, um, yes. There we go. Let's feed our boys. And then we're going to the desert. We need to get... Oh, man. Going to the desert is always a pain, isn't it? How long until we can get a next power box? We need two more levels. Medieval medicine. Right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get a power box in the desert. Because then it's going to allow us to teleport back and forth between there. And that is going to speed up time. Because we're going to need to be back and forth in the desert. So let's do that really quick. We need medieval medicine workbench. Okay, there's that. And a high quality workbench. So yeah, like this is one of the biggest things I can suggest is get your second base and don't even use it as a base. Just use it as a portable fast travel spot. It's really, really handy. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. So we need more wood. We need some ingots uh, and nails, right? So let's get the burner on the go. We should have a decent amount of ore now. Mm, that'll work. Okay, so now we need wood. We need three wood. 53 wood, okay. Yeah, well, Steve, you're doing a terrible job, mate. 53 wood. Woody's looking at me with such disgust. He's like, what are you doing doing all that work manually? <laughs> He's got his arms, like, on his shoulders and everything. What is he doing? All right, that's almost enough. One more tree. All right, that should be good enough. Now, let's build one of these items. We still need the ingots and the nails as well. How many ingots you got? Right, let's see. Can we build one of these yet? Let's get the nails. That's going to be 10 ingots. Oh, you need to learn the nail technology as well, don't you? We got like that. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's only five ingots, which is nice. All right. Thanks for the help. Why is he looking at me? Oh, no. He's happy now. Looks like I'm just poking him in the face. That's the nails done. Ingots are still cooking. Get our medieval medicine workbench, though. I love the way all the handiwork powers just come running as soon as you craft an item in your base. Like an actual structure. Thanks, guys. All right, whilst Fox Parks is taking a million years, I'm going to go and cut down wood because no one else is doing it. Steve. Steve, I'm talking to you. I don't know why. Steve has just taken a liking to planting berries. You know, instead of cutting down wood... He's decided he just wants to plant berries for his the rest of his life. I mean, at least he's doing something useful in the end. I just realized something. We've already captured a pal in this whole area. Uh, which is a problem. 
I'm going to say that this is all one area here. And the only other place to do much spawn is over here. And this is really far away. And also really high level. The do much are probably going to be like level 50. Which basically means I can't get a do much. So I think we're going to wait till night time and try and get a tombat instead. Because tombats are a little bit more sort of, you know, common. Right, finally, the high quality workbench. This doesn't look like a nice place to stay. It literally looks like a labor camp. It's, it's not good. But, uh, you know, we can't focus on that right now. So, now we can finally upgrade our power box. There we go. I did want to put a uh, fast travel point in the desert, but right now I'm kind of not too focused on that. And anyway, I realize we need one more level, which means we need more ingots for the sphere workbench, I believe, and the cooler box. So, yeah, I th think we probably want to wait a little bit. So, let uh, Fox Parks do the work on the ore. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to go back and... Well, actually, let's take a little look here. Land balls, we still don't have the capture bonus for. Fox parks. Quite a few early area pals still. So, once again, we're going to go to this starting area. And we're going to capture land balls, fox parks, pengullets. And wait till night time so we can get a tombat. I remember there's a chest down here. I always forget about that. Oh no, it's not a chest. 95% chance. Oh, no, 0% chance because I somehow missed. Okay. Lambos. Come on, boys. Don't run away. Or roll away. You know, preferably no, no movement at all. I'm seeing too much movement. Okay, here we go. Uh-huh, 100%. The crispy 100% catch rate. You gotta love it. Uh, two more Lambos. Oh my god, Lambles. Lambles everywhere. You know what I'm gonna do with you, Lambles? I'm gonna turn you into Lambo meat. Alright, we actually reached 100% uh, already. Now we're looking for Pengullet and Fox Parks. Here we go. What up, boys? How's it going? A nice day to be an angry little penguin. But not for you. Where are you going? The pals escaped. You are certainly not going to. Come on now. Nice and easy. 37% capture rate. Ah. I like my chances. 51%. There we go. Oh, we haven't caught any goo moss. And there's a bunch here as well. Nice. Okay. Onwards and upwards. This is how you speed farm. This is how you level up quickly, boys. It's as simple as this, really. As simple as this. Late game, we just move to a slightly higher level area once we've got more health and stats and ability to do so. We do the exact same thing on higher level powers. The leveling system is really quite, um, intuitive, really. It, it would be nice if we could get more for, uh, crafting, though, but hey. Uh, I guess you can customize your own experience. And have crafting, uh, higher level if you wanted. Whoa! 20%? Oh, that's looking pretty rough. Feels kind of wrong to just bully on these guys, seeing as we're so high level. But, um, you know, we have no choice. Let's get to level 20 before the night's over, and then we'll capture a tombat. That's the strategy, my friends. Come on. Level 20. We can do it. Okay, we've already completed Pengullet. More Gumos, Cremesis as well. Let's go, boys. I want to see more pals. A nice butcher session to uh, go towards as well, which is nice. Yeah, speed, efficiency, capturing. What more can we want? Gotta say, having Shanghai Megalev uh, is super handy. <laughs> I don't know how, it just kind of sounds like a cool name. I don't know why I thought of that. Really don't have any idea. Alright, level 18. Let's keep it going. 3%. Don't let me down now, Pal Spheres. Let me down. Oops. Right, it is almost night time. So what I'm going to do is just run back up the coast, see if there's any other Pals, uh, capture those, and then go back to the base real quick. 
Uh, just to get a couple more power spheres so we can get the Tombat. Nice. Oh, there's a chest there. Okay. Um, more weight. There we go. Oh, hi. Haven't caught one of these before. And they're level 9. That does actually do quite a bit of damage to me. Not too worried, though. You know. Ow. Yo. Oh, my. Okay, I messed with the wrong dudes. Apparently, when the sun sets, things get a little crazy around here. Okay, well, we won't capture too many of those right now. Woody, where are you, dude? I need your help. Come on. Oh, come on, 70% chance. All right, we out, we out, we out, we out. <laughs> oh, boy. Less roll, less humble. Okay, eat some snacks. Get some power spheres. Hey, look, the little pingolet. Yay, yeah, he's finally moving stuff along. Nice. I love it. I love it. Thank you very much. How many power spheres are in here? Oh, good job, dude. Yes. Nice one. We are now at 60 pals captured, which is quite something, I must say. Now we can cook our lovely lamble mutton whilst we wait for the sun to set. Shouldn't be long. Then we can go get a tombat. We have that uh, handiwork. Sorry, the mining is what we need. I think tombat has level 2 mining. So really, a tombat is going to be just as effective as a dumag. Alright, I need to find a place where a tombat is going to be likely to spawn where we haven't caught a pal. This one's done, this one done. We've almost done this whole area. We just have Bridge of the Twin Knights. That is the only space in this whole starter island where we haven't caught a pal. And that's kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy. Okay, let's go. I realized I can't see a thing, so I'm actually gonna take this real quick. Okay, let's find a tombat, let's go. A Espresso, a who crates. Oh, a chest. Nice. Oh, yeah, we're in this area. I'm not seeing any uh, tombats yet. I would, like, with this being my last L in this starter island, I don't want to settle for. Oh, a copper key. We needed that. I don't want to settle for a level one mining power. I want level two. I need level two. Such a small area for me to actually capture a pal. Like, I have this area here. And, uh, there's no tombats right now. Oh, I found a tombat. Nice. Okay, okay. Uh, that's brilliant. I was wandering around and I got hit by that creature and it messed me up, dude. It turns out they don't even have, uh... They don't even have... Mining, so I need this tombat. I'm getting off the wolf. Good. Oh, Shanghai Maglev, don't die. Alright, Woody, it's up to you, dude. Do your stuff. Just go. Go on, one little laser beam. One little laser beam. Alright, that's good. I like the way that you can throw a pal back into your inventory mid fight. I got 17 health. No. One hit and I'm dead. Come on. Oh, God. If I die... This is over, and this will be the end of the series. 35 health. 22%! Come on! Gotta aim higher, dude. Come on! I keep missing. Thing is, the closer I get to it, the easier it is to throw my pal sphere. But the easier it is for it to hit me. Come on, 55. Okay. That was another close call. But we got the Tombat. That is what we needed. Yes. That was a rough night. <laughs> that was a rough night. Right, Tombat, you can get to work. We need one more bed again. I hope we have a bit of wood. We do! We actually have a bit of wood now, thanks to the pain gullet. Okay, wonderful. Right, let's sleep away the day. Oh, it's already daytime. We didn't even have a chance to sleep. I mean, that was efficient use of our time, I suppose. We're just going to wait for our health to heal, and then we're going to go fight the Chillet again. And hopefully this time... We get the bow schematic. And also, hopefully we capture the chillet. That's really important. Look, I go and get this tombat, and look what happens. 
They all just start mining away. This is ridiculous. Right, I don't need more stone. Go. Can you guys go and do the the, the ore that's right there? <laughs> Look at them all moving. There we go. Yes, come on. There we go. All right, that works. Woody is getting really strong now, so I'm thinking we just throw Woody out and let Woody attack and then get ready for the right moment to uh, basically cap tricks. I keep messing that up and I really don't want to keep doing that. So let's try that. Couple hits should be enough. Now we just need to focus on dodging and let Woody do all the work. Woody will mess that thing up. Wait for that laser beam, dude. Just wait for that laser beam. Here we go. All the claws. Okay. Almost dead. Almost dead. Almost stop. Okay. Okay. Now it's just me and you. Where it belongs. 1v1. If I mess this capture up, then with Well, I'm retiring. 9%. Ow. Yo, you're in the Pal Sphere. Dude, taking damage in a Nuzlocke challenge is so scary. Ah, and we still didn't get it. No, Capriti, I haven't caught these before. Oh, they're kind of tough. Ah, uh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'll come back to you later. I am so weak. It is not good. Yes, they're mining. Let's go. Where's Tombat? What is Tombat doing? Oh, he's taking a bath. All right, it's time we upgrade. This is taking longer than us expecting. So let's get a three-shot bow. And let's get a cloth outfit. All right, we actually have some clothes. After how many days, I don't know. Oh, we have a copper key. Wait, hold up a minute. We have two copper keys. Now, I have a little bit of a plan. I'm basically going to AFK a little bit. I got to go do some IRL things. So in the night, I'm going to AFK and most of the day. And then I will come back and just go and fight about five chillet bosses. That's what we're going to do. Or however many it takes. So yes, I know this is a risky move with us only having 100 in-game days. But I just, I want to try. The reason I'm going for this chest is you can. There's a small chance, but you can get legendary schematics from them. More likely you're going to get rare ones but i mean that's better than nothing all right we found one of the chests it's a silver key oh no here we go oh we're not even gonna run out of stamina nice but because i'm low level essentially what i'm trying to do is just come and collect a couple higher level spheres real quick as well and a couple chests oh here we go purple one mega sphere i'm taking damage here but take a look at this right because we got the, the ice cube with us if i get ice cube out we won't take any more damage so if it starts getting a little dangerous you know what we need to do i'm just preparing preparing to just go on a chill it farm I decided instead of making my way all the way back there, I'm like already halfway through the desert, so I just get this fast travel point. For some reason, there's a level 14 Doomut. I, I don't know why. Alright, we got our power spheres. Uh, now, the goal is, I'm going to fight that Chillet as many times as I need until we can get the legendary schematic. It might take a while. It might take a while, but I'm going to try my very best. Okay. That, nope. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Nice. Not yet. Nice. That was perfect. Come on. Let's get it. Ah. Oh. We got one stat point though, so let's go. More wait. Okay, so update. I have been farming like crazy, and we got the civilization parts, but no cloth schematic at all. Now take a look at this, okay? This is ridiculous. This has taken a long time. Many days have been wasted. We're like 
Must be closing on day 20 by now. So I'm going to, you know, name these pals and then we're going to go on a bit of a butchering session, I think. Alright, first. First, chill it on the butcher block. Let's see what we get. Nope. Bandwagon fangirls. Yeah, why does this always happen when I'm busy butchering? It's like the pals know. Although these are two very useful handiwork pals, so I think we're going to try and capture these. By the way, this three-shot bow is terrible. 24% capture rate, that's pretty good. Oh, I just realized we can't use them. <laughs> of course we can't. Oh, that's a shame. Right, back to butchering. Not yet. Oh, dear. Another one to the butcher block. Come on, let's see what we get. It seems actually really rare to the point where... Can't you just got to get so lucky... It's not even possible. I don't know. It, it seems extremely rare. We're going to have to spend a long time trying to farm this, which is a bit of a disappointing uh, result. But at least we leveled up quite a bit, which is a positive. You know, we're level 20 now. So that's great. And we do have a lot of ancient civili civilization parts. Not that I really know what we're going to do with them. Now, there's still a chance we could do it. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Here we go. Alright. Nope. Uh, Alright then. We may have one more. That's it. That is it. And we did not get the schematic. Which, um... Yeah. I think that the chances are so slim. In fact, just as a test. I'm gonna uh, try and practice more. And maybe I'll make a shot about it to see. But uh, the results for today were pretty disappointing. We reached level 20 though, but we are far, far behind uh, to kind of make this end game work. So hopefully in the next episode, we can make things a little bit more efficient. Thanks for watching. See you next week for the next episode.